It's Nathan back here with another one. Hopefully you had a great 4th of July. So I'm back here with a screensaver setting. So if you ever wanted to add your own personal photos to your Amazon Fire Stick screensaver and just have it continuously play in the background on your TV, I'm here to tell you that you can set this up to infinitely show your pictures all day on your TV. And let me go ahead and walk you through the process and show you how to get this done step by step. So the first things first, we have our screensaver. This is a slideshow setting. So if I click the three lines on my remote, select here slide style, I can zoom and pan and click the back button. It'll zoom and pan through each photo or I can click the three lines on my remote click on slide style and I can click on dissolve. They only give you three options. I like the mosaic look. The mosaic look is this look with the multiple tiles of different photos and it continuously cycles to the next photo. So the more photos you have, the more it'll cycle. It can seamlessly play all of those photos in case you don't wanna just look at one photo individually. Also, if we click the three lines on our remote, we have slideshow speed. You can slow it down, you can speed it up. It's your choice, I just leave mine on medium. They also have a shuffle feature in case you want to set it to shuffle. So one thing, if you wanted to continuously show pictures at a specific type of event, like a birthday party, so say you have a kid's birthday party and you wanna show the pictures from the beginning of the year to the end of the year, you would just create an album and you would set that slideshow to continuously play. Let me show you what I mean by that. So if I click my back button, it took me back to a photo album, which I've called Fire TV Screensaver. There's nine items in here and I can add as many items as I want to this photo album. So these photos sit in a photo album that I've created and I'll, sh and I'll walk you through that process after this. I just want to show you what it will look like and then how it works and then I'll show you the setup step by step. So once again, I've created an album here and I have nine items in this album. The top right hand corner does say start slideshow. This is what I mean by starting the slideshow. So if you start the slideshow instead of just waiting for the screensaver to naturally kick in and you would have to wait a full five minutes idle time and then your screensaver would start to show these pictures but in case you don't want to wait you can always open the amazon photos app and then all you have to do is click on the album that you want and then click play to start the slideshow and it will immediately start to play those pictures infinitely until you turn that slideshow off so that's one cool feature that i like about this amazon fire tv screensaver amazon photos setup and uh, it definitely comes in handy and you can turn your tv into a picture frame so that's very cool so let's dive into the setup process it's very straightforward so let's go ahead and make sure that we have amazon photos on our amazon fire stick i'm on the amazon fire stick home screen on every amazon fire stick it already comes equipped with amazon photos let me show you which app that is so we're going to go over to the three squares with the plus sign once you're hovered over the three squares with the plus sign, click the center button, then come down here and look for Amazon Photos. This is the app. It says Photos with a Amazon Prime check mark. Click on that app to open that up and it should automatically open. If you were to open this up for the first time, you would see something like this where it says your photos, sharing, family vault, videos, albums, folders but where you would live on here is albums you would just select albums and then these are the albums that you have on your device you select the album that you want and then all you have to do is click the play button to start the slideshow so now that we've confirmed that everybody has amazon photos on the amazon fire stick i've showed you where to find it now let's go ahead pull out your phone or your computer and you can simply do this from your iphone your android or your computer so let me pull out my device and I'll walk you through the process on what it looks like to set up your Amazon Photos account. I'm on an iPhone. I have the iPhone 12 Max. I'm going to go ahead and set this up on my iPhone. That way when I add pictures to the photo album from my iPhone, it'll automatically show up on my Amazon Fire TV. So let's jump into that. So we're just going to type in Amazon Photo and the search there. This is the app that we need, Amazon Photos. If you don't already have that installed, go ahead and download that and then open it up once you have. And then it's going to ask you to sign in with your Amazon account. 
If you're not aware, Amazon Photos, if you Google it, it'll give you five gigs free for just creating an account. All we need to do is go ahead and put in our email and our password, and I'll see you on the next screen. All right, so it logged me in here. It says, welcome to Amazon Photos. It says here, don't miss out on notifications. I don't like notifications, so I'll hit don't allow. And then in here it says, do we want to auto save? We don't want to auto save, so I turn auto save off and I just manage my photos and I pick and choose which ones I want to upload. So you can turn that off immediately once you get logged in. You want to click on select uploads. You can automatically upload directly from your camera roll or you can choose from different albums that you already have created if you have created any albums so far. So I'm going to click on skip here. And then in here, it asks us, do we want to increase our monthly storage? We don't want to right now, so I'm just going to click on not now at the bottom. And then in here, I'm automatically advanced in. And then in here, I can click on albums. And then I can click on the Fire TV album that I saw on my Amazon Fire TV. And this is where we would add photos. I will click on photos, add photos to this album. And I can select from any album that I have already created and then go ahead and add photos to it if I wanted to. So once I click back and then click on photos in the top left hand corner and then click the three bubbles down here. After I click on photos, you'll see here select photos and videos to upload. That's the only location where you can add new photos from your camera roll, photos that you just recently took. Select photos to upload. I'll select this one and click upload. It says uploading one item and now it's uploaded and you should see that photo somewhere in the recent settings here. Then if I wanted to, I can add that photo directly to the Fire TV screen saver. Add photos to album. There's that picture there. Click on add and then that picture is added to that photo album just like that. And it's as simple as that to, to add photos directly from your camera roll. This is where you would have access to it. Also, you can go a step further if you had other Amazon Fire TV devices. If I click this little TV symbol at the top, I have various different albums and these albums display on various different Amazon devices around my house. So definitely keep that in mind. You can add these photos to multiple different Amazon Fire TV devices at the same time. So if I click the end symbol in the top right hand corner, you will see video storage 3.2 out of 5 gigs. It says 62% used of my storage space. You not only can add photos, you can also add videos. And you can also turn on auto save that way you don't lose any items. But I don't use that auto save feature. So I keep it turned off. That way I can manage my items. And then also if you wanted to in here, if you click on print photos, you can also get multiple different items made with your photos on it. So you can do photo prints, you can do photo books. So I've ordered blankets from them before, but they don't unfortunately offer the blankets anymore. But they still have photo cards, calendars, and gifts that you can add to your photos as well. Let's go ahead and open up Amazon Photos once again. Once I load up Amazon Photos, you have the albums once again. If you want to open that album and then just click the play button on the Amazon Fire Stick, that will start the slideshow. And once again, once you start the slideshow, it will continuously play infinitely until you want to turn it off. So it's up to you. You can have it playing for an hour, two hours. Just remember the power that it consumes because it will be running your display on your TV. So definitely keep that in mind, but turn it off when you're ready. This definitely comes in handy once again for parties or any type of situation where you just want to show some memorabilia on the wall, or on the TV, or just in the background. It definitely comes in handy. So you can get this set up on any of your Amazon Fire TV devices. Definitely let me know down in the comment section if you were able to get this set up and installed and display some of your photos from your iPhone or your Android phone. This will work on either device, but definitely let me know down in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching this video. Give it a like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.